Hey, what's going on? This is Edison Abla, and in this video, we're going to focus on finishing up our sync control system. Now, what we really want to do is, is we want to be able to tell when both the hot water and the cold water are both turned on. Now, there are a number of ways we can do this, but we're going to, to create a simple counting uh, system that will just know when either one of them are clicked, it's going to increment the count, and if the count is equal to two, we know that we're at the max, and if it's not, then we know we can turn off the water. So what we're going to start off with is jumping into our script, and we're going to take this count uh, variable that I've already created, and we're just going to increment it. Now, when you hit, or when you play the stop, we want to, to decrease it. And both are gonna be by one, so let's go back in here and let's hit play. I've also gone ahead and uh, multiplied our functionality from our hot water onto our cold water, so both will function the same. So as you can see, count goes to one and it goes to zero. Works perfectly, right? Well, maybe not. And as you can see, count does go to two, but the water keeps getting turned off and that's because we don't actually have a way to know whether the count is equal to or less than one. So let's go back into our code. And what we're going to do is in this stop function, we're going to add an if statement. And we're going to check how, uh, how much our count is. So in this case, we want to see if our count is less than or equal to zero. In that case, it's off. Or it should be off. So let's go back and let's hit play again. Cool, turns on, stays on, our count is to two, so that's working. Count goes to one and it's still on. Sorry, I, I hate when this thing gets so close to the side. <laughs> uh, so now we can see both ways it still works. So that problem is solved. So now what we wanna do is, is we know that the count is either equal to zero, one, or two. So what we wanna be able to do is if if our count is now greater than or equal to, I want to say two, however, we really shouldn't be putting variables like that um, in, or we shouldn't hard code, excuse me, those variables. So let's create a, a public, public variable, and we're going to call it max count. And we're going to also data type this to an integer, and we're going to set it equal to two, not zero. And so what's gonna happen is, is we're going to check to see if our count is greater than or equal to max count. We want to increase our water's speed. So in this case, it's going to be water dot start speed. We're going to increase this to two. Else, we're going to set it to one. And so all this is doing is, is just changing the flow of the particles. Let's have fun. Let's set this to five. Let's see what happens. Let's go back. Let's hit play and let's see what happens. Well, maybe I should have unclicked it first. <laughs> all right, cool. So, so we walk through. Same thing as before. Nothing new. Boom, now we're starting to see this thing go all over the place. This is what normally happens when I personally get a hold of things. <laughs> all right, so now we have our water just spraying all over the place, and that's just because our strength is too strong at this point in time. So what we can do is set this down to a number that I know will work. <laughs> set that to two. And let's go back and hit play again. Flow, flow. So you can see the, the flow does decrease and increase. So it, it takes a little time because some of the particles are dying out as it's happening, um, but our flow does increase now and that's exactly what we wanted. 
So as the particles die out, you, you notice that it gets smaller. So now that we know what the start speed is, and we're able to control that, we pretty much have our system set up. Now, if you want to change anything else over the lifetime, you can do that as well. But for our purposes, that's all we wanted to be able to do is control that. So to the next video, I'm Edison Abelard. I'm out.